Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX and today we're going to be talking about a special little tool uh, called uh, Top Test, okay? Uh, I think that's the way you pronounce it, uh, Top Test, but it's a gas leak detector and uh, so full disclosure, they sent me a couple of these to test out. Why did I accept? Well, because there was one time when we did go to Big Bend National Park and had the heater buddy inside in the tent and I was a little concerned I didn't know about everything was sealed correctly or whatever but I was concerned about a gas leak um, I couldn't smell and uh, so I was like man I wish there was some sort of little detector or whatever thingy that I could easily carry in my vehicle not take a lot of space inexpensive and could help us out you know in a, an emergency uh, situation so let me tell you um, this little thing right here I don't know it's about six inches long and uh, it comes in orange green and uh, red color uh, really easy to use so what I did the first thing it, by the way it comes with uh, uh, two AAA batteries uh, already in the package just unscrewed this thing right here so what I was able to do is I was able to turn it on and it calibrated for about 40 seconds um, so yeah it's ready to go right now I want to test it out I've never used this uh, so I came out here with my wife and uh, we decided to do a little camping and uh, I was like hey maybe this is a good time to test it out and see how it works I have the my old beat up Coleman um, stove two burner stove over here and i have my propane gas tank as well and uh so let's go ahead and turn it on a little bit and let me see if it'll say well first of all you know what i got an idea what if i just turn it on on high sensitivity you see the high right here let's turn on the high sensitivity here and let's see if it detects anything already that was, uh, no so no leaks there no leaks here no leaks here all right now what if i was to crank this up a little bit i wonder what would happen then let's see oh yeah that was fast that was that was really fast okay so yeah, I guess it does work. And look at that, look at that meter. It's, it continues to go down and down until it's at zero right now. Very interesting. All right. Now, let's put it in the low setting. This is the low sensitivity right here. Yeah, same thing. So again, there you go. Once the sensor clears out, then it goes back to normal. You can go ahead and turn it off right there. Turn it on. Do its little calibration mode, like I told you. And still going, still going, still going. Still going. And there you go. So it's been recalibrated. But check it out. So what they're saying is that it's not just propane. Okay? You can you can test other other types of uh, natural gas. I hear even gasoline. I don't know, maybe I'll I should Maybe I should test it out with uh, Sandy over here. I'm gonna check out the gas tank and let me see if it'll work with that. Now I'm gonna test it out with the gasoline tank. Let's see if it works here. And uh, let's put it on some high sensitivity. Yeah, that was fast. High sensitivity. 
Let's go ahead and clear it. It's going down. See that right there? Okay, now I'm gonna put it on the low setting. Put it on the low setting, let's give it another try. Try to, this distance, this distance. Yeah, it, it, yeah I was, I'm like maybe two, three inches away from the entrance. And there you go. So it works, guys, it works with gasoline. It works in detecting propane. Uh, it's supposed to work on natural gas. So you can use this around the house as well. Uh, very inexpensive, easy to take with you. Just throw it in there and uh, or keep it around the house, maybe around the barbecue pit, wherever you think it might be useful, the shop. You know, it's, it's just a good idea to have it Link will be in the description along with a discount code, okay? Take care.